Hi everyone, so we're here at Birkenhead Lake Provincial Park and we're enjoying a camp out with our friends Henry and Laura. You'll know Henry from his channel. He's the diver that cleans up lakes and oceans. Luckily, the weather seems to be cooperating. Well, today, yesterday <laughs> it rained. So we hope you enjoyed this video. This is our spot for the next day or two. We had to actually put a couple of levelers in the front, which is something we rarely ever have to do. And the first time we did it, they sunk in the gravel, so we had to back into a slightly different spot. So it's a nice little spot. This one does have the day access road behind us, but uh, it's very fragrant here because we're surrounded by skunk cabbage. Over here, behind us, and over to our right. Pretty, but very swampy. Uh, I don't think we're going to get too much warm weather, but if we did, I think we'd see a lot of mosquitoes. And my once clean van now is somewhat covered in mud. And it's raining. Finch taking over the passenger seat for now. Doesn't seem too bad. He's a little anxious. here. We uh, had a nice evening last night. We had dinner, made pizza, which was kind of fun, in our oven. Yeah. It, and yeah, visited a little bit out. with uh, uh, Henry and Laura. So tonight we're going to try making pizza for the first time. Just slowly starting to warm up the oven. We've had this, I think, for about a year, but we've only used it once and it worked quite well. Coleman oven. So we're still using these one pound propane cylinders and one of our viewers correctly pointed out that A, they're expensive and B, they're not that great on the environment. We are able to recycle these where we live, but that's not the case in many places. So we're looking at a couple alternatives. One that they recommended was getting a five pound canister and a hose just to hook up to the stove. And that would be great, except then we're going to be carrying a five pound canister of propane inside the van with this, which is just something I'd prefer not to do. The other option is we can hook up just right over to our RV propane and just put in a T-connector and then run a hose right to the stove. And that's probably what I'm going to do. The challenge though is that the stove is a high pressure stove. The manufacturers confirmed that it won't run off propane off an RV because there's simply not enough pressure. So we're going to have to buy a different stove. So we're going to sort that out in the short term. In the interim we're just going to use up uh, the majority of the canisters that we still have left. Should I just put some pizza in the oven? And we've got a bit of a blue sky and you can see the clouds are slowly moving away. We hope they continue to do so. You might be able to see the mountain over there. Beautiful. It was supposed to be 450. I'm just a little above that. I have no idea how accurate that is though. Second pizza and a vegetarian one there and this is the first. Tiny little bit of one of the tomatoes burned but other than that I think it looks pretty good and it's Henry. All right here's the first bite. <laughs> Make sure you don't burn yourself. That's pretty good. <laughs> There's the vegetarian. There we go. 
perfect. Okay, the last of the meat ones, the pepperoni pizza. Looks good. I kept it a little bit less time in the oven, but it looks perfect. Got to do these right, and we have to get them done and delivered within 30 minutes or they're free. All right, last one to go in for Mickey. Another vegetarian. There we go. Twelve minutes. Hey, this looks very tasty. Personal pizza. Homemade crust, whole wheat crust. And mm. lots of different mm. toppings which fall off, fall off. A little bit. <laughs> you have to like put it right to your mouth. Yes, but I want to eat little bits at a time. <laughs> mm. Very good. Excellent. I need a fork <laughs> and a knife. Mine has Daya vegan cheese. And then got up this morning. I went for, I was going to say an early morning paddle, but it wasn't all that early. See so after the paddle, inch. You covered in your cat hair. A lot more of the campsites were filled today. Yesterday, oh, maybe only 10% when we arrived. Uh, there's still a lot of vacant ones. It's still early June. Lake trails right here. And just farther off down that way is actually the dog beach. It doesn't say this until you get to the beach, but dogs aren't allowed on. This section of the beach. It's just a little ways over but actually we were there yesterday and you really can't get to it because the lake is so high. We had a, a wonderful evening, spent a little bit of time with our friends Henry and Laura and the two kids Daisy and Maggie, their two dogs, and this morning it's it's not bad. There's a little bit of sun coming through, rained most of last night, cool down to about nine degrees so not too bad but just beautiful here right now. A little bit of snow on the on the mountains. Uh, this looks gorgeous. Yesterday it was nice, but with the sun just hitting on the snow, very pretty. Nice. We didn't have any issues last night with the uh, bear that's rummaging around the campground. The park operator gave us a heads up. And of course we make sure as soon as we use anything, camp stove, oven, whatever, we pack it all up, put it away. Nothing that might attract a bear. I'm just going to head over here, put in just in this grass just ahead of me. I, I could have gone there, but it's actually sandy in a lot of areas. And I just hate having sand with my pack raft. It'll get caught in the boat. It's hard to get rid of. Uh, it'll end up in the van. So try and avoid it when I can. I can tell how high the lake is because picnic table, water, and they would normally never have a picnic table so close to the water. All right, get the boat set up and out for a paddle. Tiny little bit of breeze, but the lake's still pretty close to glass. Nice. Backrest seat. If you don't blow the seat up enough when you get water in the boat, you end up with a wet rear end. Now, if the water was just a little deeper in the grass, I could start paddling right over it, which would be kind of amusing. I think I'm going to lose what little sunshine I had. The last time we were here, this area here was like a sandbar. And I think the dog beach is just around the corner here, but... As I said, there's not any way to really get to it. This would be where we'd be walking across all the nice sand. Let's see if I can get it with the camera. Yeah, so maybe a foot deep, something like that. I don't know if you can spot the current, but I'll just head over to the creek, which is on my left. Yeah, I don't even know if I'll be able to paddle up much farther than this. Uh, uh, creeks. 
come in the lake fairly strong. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Oh, the mountains look beautiful. All right, let's head out for a little ways. Beautiful. bit of snow at the top where the clouds are hanging sort of halfway up the cliff just gorgeous just starting to rain a little bit to the shore over here looks like a little place I can beach maybe just get out of the rain for a few minutes see if it stops it might just be a shower as I'm about to get to the shore and Pull up out of the water. It stopped raining. There's a trail on the side of the lake. I suspect I'm very close to it. So I think I'll just pull up on shore and see if I can find the trail. Nice, the water's so deep I can literally pull right up against the roots. Nice. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can see a trail. Straight ahead. Beautiful trees. There's some big firs, some big cedars. So the question is, do I pack up the boat and hike back, which is an easy option with a pack raft, or do I maybe paddle a little farther and then paddle back? In the interim, I'm just gonna enjoy the view. I'm guessing Mickey's probably back at the van, having a coffee. And as long as it's not raining, she's probably outside listening to the birds, or she's entertaining Finch. Good morning, everyone. So. I was trying to play with Finch with his favorite toy. He just loves it. Little feather at the end. He actually likes to play with the tip of this more than the feather. But look what he's done. <laughs> he's crawled right into the blanket. <laughs> oh yeah, what is that? That's the camera. Yeah, that's the camera. Gorgeous views. It's getting a little breezy. See the water. We're right under the root structure here. So I've decided I'm going to paddle back. Save the hike for another day. Just not too sure of the trail on my sandals. And also the winds blowing in my direction, so I think I'll take advantage of it. It's not that long of a paddle. See a couple trail markers up there, so that trail I was just on, just come along there and cuts through this creek, rock, and a beautiful little creek. And another shower. Showers ended and it's beautiful once again. No rainbows though. Anyway, an enjoyable paddle. And then we went for a nice little hike actually out to roughly the same area I paddled to this morning.
or we're actually back to where I was this morning. And yes, I think I could have done the trail in sandals, but it was much nicer even with some decent shoes. Oh, it's gonna fall in. Henry and Laura side. and and their dogs, Maggie and Daisy. <laughs> very, very wet. Yes. Good thing I have a stack of dog towels. <laughs> so the rest of the day, we're, we're not entirely sure what we're going to do. Kind of taking it lazy because it's, uh, it's not a bad day. It's not too hot, not too cold. A little bit of high cloud. Um, yeah, so we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Yeah, and Finch is doing well. We were worried about him on the Birkenhead Lake road because it's really potholy, quite bumpy. So um, <laughs> you can hear some of the bumps. Yeah, so we were a little concerned, but we did tell him that if we could get through this trip, then he could probably pretty much go anywhere else because <laughs> most of the time we're on paved roads anyway. So um, yeah, we were a bit worried the first day, but he seems to have kind of gotten used to van travel hopefully we'll see a little bit more he's still yeah. taking some time mm -hmm. and the road wasn't as bad as the first time we were here it was um it's early in the season though so who knows it just can be a little rattly and bumpy and we drove very slowly mm -hmm. okay i'm just going to scoot up the goat lookout trail mickey and i did this last time we were here a few years ago just a nice little workout it's not too long like 850 meters one way so just a little over a mile i'll probably go a little off onto the side into one of the cliffs but from up here uh, shaggy white mountain goat, I think, um, is on the, probably not on this ridge, but right across um, the way on some of the ridges on the other side of the mountain. So, see how it goes. Steep, but a very easy trail to follow. There was a little bit of deadfall earlier on, but not bad here. Steep and rocky. We added some stones to these as well, but I don't know which ones. And I think there's a lot more since we were last year. It's a nice little view of the lake. Henry and Laura were going for a paddle. I can see one of the two. I don't know if they're waving back Cocapellis. Henry has a rogue light and Laura I think has a twain. Okay. I have to add something to this beautiful rock garden. This one's for Mickey. And this one over here for Finch. There we go. What a view. So I was going to scoot over that way. But I'm running out of time. Nice workout. It's only, you know, you can get up here in a half hour. Beautiful. Can you see any mountain goats? Any that look like a mountain goat? I think it's the wrong season. Turnaround time. See how long it takes me to get down. Faster down. Only 20 minutes and I was really just going a moderate pace. Ooh. in the yellow, Henry's in the light green. And that's their new to them bowler. Beautiful trailer. Boneyard Beer IPA. Bend Oregon. Ooh, spelling it. Oh, very good.
everyone for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you next time.